Happy Music Monday, everybody. Today we are gonna be testing another instrument and see if it can ambience. If you missed last week's episode, I think the title card's here, or there, somewhere. I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but you can click it now. We tested to see if the melodica could be ambient. Go be the judge for yourself. Today, what we're gonna be doing is... All right, today we are going to be testing to see if the ukulele can ambient. The one nice thing about this already compared to the melodica episode is we don't have to try and figure out how to get this into the pedal board because it has a pickup in it already so we can just plug directly straight in. So, not wasting any of your time. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we are doing the same setup as previously, except we are starting over at our compressor into the chorus, into the dispatch maker, into the monument, into the volume pedal. I forgot to completely mention that, but I'm gonna be using the volume pedal. It is gonna be super important today. Into the tape echo, into the dig, into the big sky, into the ditto four, into the Focusrite 2i4 to go into my digital audio workstation, which is Reaper. Oh no! So one of the important things with ambient music is something called a swell. We are going to need a lot of delay and we are going to need a lot of reverb. I'm going to slap on the tape echo. This is what I have dialed in now. So that's what we have going on with the tape echo. With the dig, this is what I've got right now as well. Nice. Uh, right now I am running in parallel. I'm actually kind of curious if instead of running in parallel, I can run ping pong instead. Yeah, you know what? I kind of think I like that a little bit more. So we're gonna stick with the ping pong. As you can hear it just bouncing back and forth. First things first, let's just hear what it sounds like with delays only. So I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing. Right now what I am doing is I am keeping the volume pedal down and then I'm gonna play the instrument and then after I play it, I'm going to bring the volume up. What this is doing is this is removing the attack of the beginning of the sound, whereas if I just had it up the entire time, you can hear the aggressive and percussive attack at the very beginning of the note. But if I bring it back with the pedal and then slowly bring it up, it kind of brings it away a little bit. All right, let's slap reverb in and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna play around a little bit and let's see if the ukulele can ambient. Three, two, one.
So that's our experiment for this week. What were your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Also, let me know if there's any other instrument you want me to try and see if it can amp it. Another experiment that I would like to try is just sending anything through this board. So, here's what you can do. In the comments below, leave me a link to a SoundCloud where I can download whatever sound you want to send me, and I will send it through the board. Make sure to leave a like, Make sure to subscribe for more ambient content and other music-related things. I've got more things coming, too. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys 